got issues with us So quit making things up I'm Karina and welcome to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because for the very first time I'm working on a project with all the products that I purchased at a thrift store. And a thrift store basically works in a way that you can actually go and donate your old products there and they would basically go through all their products and put up all the ones that are good enough to be sold again on the shelves for other people to buy. And I actually love going to a thrift store because everything is super cheap and some of these products are really unique as well. So recently I went to a thrift store and I purchased three different products with the intention of DIYing them into home decor pieces. So today's video is going to be just about that but before we get into the video I would love to ask you to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my YouTube family because that would really mean a lot to me. So yeah, I hope you've done that already and now we can dive right into this video. So the closest thrift store near my house is called Value Village and I went there two weeks ago and I found this really cute scarf holder there. It was only $2 and it was kept in really good condition as well. So I had to pick that up. But just after a few days when I went to Ikea, I found the same thing for $7. And this is what I mean, when you go to a thrift store, you can actually find things for less than half the price. So now I'm going to open up the scarf hanger and I'll use a stitch opener to separate the circles that I need. So I'm going to take a long piece of yarn and place it right there. And then I'm going to take four strings of yarn which are folded in half. And I'm going to create a loop at the top of the circle to secure the yarn in place. So I'm going to be repeating the same process for all three rings and after we tie that big knot at the top of the ring, I'm going to tie each and every yarn individually at the bottom of the ring. In order to make this knot, I'm going to make a knot once at the front of the ring and once at the back and then I'm going to pull the yarn downwards to make the yarn really tight. So once again, I'm going to make a knot first at the front of the ring and then I'm going to make a knot at the back and once that knot is in place, I'm just going to pull the yarn downwards to secure it very tightly. Now I'm just going to cut off all the extra yarn that I don't need with a pair of scissors and then once that's done, I'm just going to take a hot glue gun and I'll apply the hot glue on the knots at the back of the ring so that the yarn is nicely secured and the knot does not get undone later on. Now finally, it's time to attach the yarn that will be hanging off of these rings and in order to do that, I cut two really long pieces of string and I folded them in half. Then I placed the loop on top of the ring and I pulled the yarn from under it and I pulled it downwards to secure this knot. So I'll go ahead and attach these yarns on all three rings and I absolutely love how this is looking right now. And I did keep the yarn a little extra long so that I can cut it according to the height that I want. this piece it looks super cute it has this really nice boho vibe which I'm in love with so now for the second project I found this really nice coaster at value village and this was only four dollars so I really like the fact that it has a felt backing and it has these wooden pieces stuck on it so at first I thought I could literally just remove the wooden pieces from the felt just by pulling on it and obviously that did not work because I ended up breaking it so I just ended up using a pair of scissors and cutting each and every piece. I'm taking a piece of cardboard from an old cereal box and I'm going to stick the mirror on top of that. I applied some glue at the center of the mirror but after that I also went ahead and applied some hot glue at the edges just to make sure that the mirror stays in place and it doesn't fall off when I hang this on the wall. Once the mirror has been stuck in place, now I'm going to apply some glue individually on each and every wooden piece and I'm going to start sticking it around the mirror to create this really nice border. As you can see, this project is super easy to work on. Anyone can do this. And the best part is that it's really easy and it ends up looking really cute as well. 
Oh, and if you're wondering why I have covered this mirror with purple sticky notes, well, it's because I don't want you guys to see up my nostrils. And I also don't want you to get distracted with the reflection of the camera from the mirror. So usually when I'm working on a project that has any reflective element, I usually cover it up with a sticky note. So this is it. I literally just had to glue all these wooden pieces around the mirror to make a really nice border. And I absolutely love how this turned out. love how this turned out and it's so versatile I can actually put it up on a table or a desk I can hang it on a wall and I can even put it on my ottoman with a candle on it and it looks really good wherever I put it as for the third and final project of this video I found this really nice frame at the thrift store just for three dollars I absolutely love the size of this but I wasn't too happy with the color so I wanted to DIY this and make it match my existing home decor so I took a bunch of ice cream sticks and I cut off the ends since I wanted a straight edge. I also went ahead and cut some of these in half so that I can get tiny little pieces. And finally I also cut some of them vertically to get really thin strips as well. So basically I wanted multiple sizes so that I can cover the frame perfectly. When it comes to the frame, I washed it very nicely with soap just to remove all the oils and dust particles that would have accumulated on it. And now I'm applying some glue on the top panel so that I can start sticking the popsicle sticks on it. The reason why I had cut the popsicle sticks in multiple size is so that I can cover the frame properly just like this. When it comes to the left and right side of the frame, I'm going to stick a really small piece and a medium sized piece and I'm going to alternate those so that I can get a really nice texture. Once I'm done covering the front of the frame, I'll start covering the sides. The main reason why I had cut those really thin pieces of popsicle sticks is basically for the side so that I can cover the frame properly. Once I'm done covering all four sides on the outer side of the frame, I'm also going to go ahead and cover the insides. So I created this mixture with 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, 2 tablespoons of salt, half a tablespoon of baking soda and some water. I created the solution to fill in all the gaps between the popsicle sticks and I also went ahead and I tried it on one half of the frame just to see if it actually works and it actually did. It made the surface very nice and smooth. So all I had to do was take the solution on my finger and fill in the gaps. So I let this dry off completely for around 2-3 to three hours and once it was completely dried off, I took a 60 grit sandpaper to sand it off. I had this golden pecan wood stain that I really wanted to use on this project but after using it, I realized that it just did not look that nice and this frame wouldn't have worked anywhere in my house. So I went ahead and I added some white acrylic paint to the mixture and I created this really nice warm beige color that I really liked and it looked really good as well. my DIY video for you today and I really hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you're inspired to create some projects like this. Out of all the projects from today, my favorite one was this wall art piece because it looks super cute and I would love to know which one was your favorite in the comment section below so do let me know and if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel since I post a new DIY video every single week. Have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next video. Bye!